Alright, I'd like to welcome you all back to another episode of Tiffy's Midwest Cooking Show. Today I'm going to teach you guys my take on an egg bake. Alright, so first we're going to need potatoes. Of course your eggs, you don't want to drop them. And then for my meat to go along in with my eggs, I'm going to be using ham. And then of course, you got your cheese. Alright, so to start this out, what you're going to do is you're going to take your potatoes and you're actually going to turn these into baked potatoes. So you're just going to take your potato after you wash it and you're going to stab it. Just like so. All the way around. And you do this so that way when you throw your potatoes in the microwave, they don't explode on you. Just do a couple stabs on each side. Alright. That's three done. Be very careful while you're stabbing it. You know, you don't want to stab yourself in the hand. It doesn't feel very good. I've done it plenty of times. And, you know, you never quite learn. Because usually you try to, you know, hurry up and get it done if you have a bunch of them that you got to do. Alright, so now that that's done, you're going to take them and you're going to toss them in your microwave. And on the first side, you're going to cook it for five minutes. And then after that five minutes is up, you're going to open up your microwave, you're going to flip them, and then you're going to let them cool for about five, ten minutes, so that way they're not mush when you're trying to cut through them. All right, after you set your microwave to five minutes and start it, you're going to come over to your oven, and you're going to preheat your oven to 375. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to get the eggs ready. And then today I'm going to be using six eggs. Don't, you know, don't worry if you make a mess or not. It's not a huge deal. It ain't the end of the world, you know. As long as it's your kitchen, everything's cleanable. Right, there's two. There's three. Four. Five and six. All right, and you know, for you, those of you that don't know how to make scrambled eggs, after you crack your eggs, you're gonna reach into your fridge and you're gonna pull out your milk, and then you're just gonna add some milk into it. And what the milk does, it actually makes your your eggs really, really fluffy. And then we're going to take our whisk. And you're going to whisk your eggs up nice and good. And then if you want, you can season it now, or you can season it after your ham. So, I'm going to add my seasonings in now. So, for seasonings, we're going to be using Lowry Seasoned Salt. And, like I always say, you know, I never have an exact amount for how much seasonings to use. Because I just, I just have this feel for it where, you know, I can tell when I've added enough or if I need to add a little more. Alright, and then we're going to start out next with our garlic powder. Just season it to what you feel is right. And then, lastly, our onion powder. All right. Now with that, so now you're going to take your whisk again, and you're going to mix it all up. All right, now that's all mixed up. 
mixed up, we're just going to set that off to the side here. And then we're going to proceed to chopping our ham. All right, so what you're going to do is take your cutting board and your knife and you're going to cut strips of ham. And after you're done with cutting your strips, then what you're going to do is you're going to cut it down into cubes. And a neat little trick instead of having to take everything individually and cutting it into cubes is you can literally just stack it on top of each other. And just like so, just cut your cubes. You can put as much ham as you want, and honestly, you can put whatever kind of meat you want. The first time that I ever I made this, I used ham, turkey, and if I believe so, if I'm right, I used some bacon. And I just decided to go with the ham today. Alright, so now that our ham's cut, we're going to cut two more. And ham's usually pretty quick to cut. And like I said, you can just take it, mash it all together. Make sure you're very careful when you're cutting like this. You know, not to let your fingers get in the way. Now that all of our ham is all the way chopped, you're just gonna take it and put it into your eggs. And then you're going to take your whisk and just mix your ham in there nice and good. So that way it's not all just sitting on the bottom. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move this to the side because our potatoes are done and ready to go. Alright, so now that you got your baked potato, you're going to take your knife and you don't want, you don't need to press that hard. You're just gonna start making slices. Make between quarter inch and half inch slices, like so. And as you can see, I'm barely pushing. I'm just letting the knife do all the work. And that's how you should do it when you cut with anything. Be very careful when you're cutting, as you don't cut yourself. All right. So now that your potatoes cut, you're gonna before you start tossing them in your pan, you're gonna take some cooking spray and you're gonna spray your glass baking pan. All right, and then you're just gonna start lining your potatoes into the bottom of your pan, just like so. Just like that. Came up with this idea one day because I decided that I really wanted breakfast, but I didn't feel like, you know, standing over the standing over the stove, you know, while I waited for eggs and bacon and different things like that to cook, so I thought about it and I was like, you know, how about I uh, do an egg bake? And I, at the time, you know, I didn't, I didn't have very much. I had some potatoes and, and a can of refried beans and some eggs and some lunch meat. And so, you know, I just concocted this recipe from that. A lot of my cooking um, growing up was strictly cooking on a budget. And all that... That's all done there. You're gonna, we're going to finish slicing our potatoes, but we're not going to put them in the pan just yet. 
Yeah, like I was saying, a lot of my cooking growing up, um, it's been cooking on a budget. I had quite a few years, you know, where I was I was couch hopping, you know, from friend's place to friend's place, so I made do with whatever we had, and I've cooked for, you know, there have been times where we've had up to seven to ten people over, you know, and I'd, I'd cook for everybody, and the very first thing that I actually cooked on for other people was, um, my buddy Matt, he, uh, they didn't have an, a stove hooked up in, um, in their house, so his stepdad had an electric double burner, a deep fat fryer, and um, eventually later on he went out and bought an electric skillet. But before that, literally every meal that I had made at the time, oh, and also um, an electric griddle. But every meal that I had made at that time took forever. But, you know, all my friends, I'd go downstairs in the basement. Sometimes it'd take me three hours to cook just because, you know, that's how long it took for that double burner to heat up. And I, I would concoct just random, random things. And that was when I realized, you know, I have a passion for food. All right, so now that our refried beans are open, you're going to take half your can... And you're just going to spread it over the top of your potatoes. Just like so. And I got another spatula, you know. It makes it a lot easier to use two instead of smashing through your potatoes. If you want, you can cook them before you try to throw them on top here. I just find that this adds, you know, less steps to do it this way. Alright, so we got half of it covered. saying that that was when I realized that, you know, I had a passion for cooking. And also, I was talking to somebody about it, and um, they were trying to convince me to um, make money off my cooking, and they had said, you know, why not sell recipes? Like, type up some recipes and sell them by individual recipes. Well, I'm not very much of a writer, so... You know, I'm more of a visual learner, so I thought, why not start this cooking show? And so I started Tippy's Midwest Cooking Show about mm, two years ago now, right after, right after the first of the year of 2015 was when I started it. All right, so there you go. You see that you got your refried beans over the top of that first layer, and then you're going to take the rest of your potatoes and you're gonna lay them over the top of your refried beans, just like so. All right, and then you're gonna take your remainder of your refried beans Put that in another layer over the top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that beautiful bag of cheese that you have, you know, whatever kind that you decide you want to use. Today I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using some Mexican taco style cheese. Just trying to get the rest of these beans up out of here. Are out. I'm just gonna do like.
like you did with your first layer and you're just gonna spread them over the top it's just like any style you know kind of bake that you do you always have usually have some kind of sauce or some kind of mix that you spread out over the top usually you want to try to get it as even as possible all right let's take our other spatula Got a little more to go. There we go. All right, that is officially all the beans out of there. I'm just gonna set that out of my way. And then you're gonna take your cheese. And you're gonna do half of your bag over the top. Just like so, just take a handful or two, and if you know you don't want to be exactly precise about it, most bags of chia's contain two cups, so just take a cup and measure out a cup of cheese and throw it over your first layer, and then just spread it out nice and good, just like that. All right, and then. You're going to put the final touches on it. You're going to take your egg that we mixed up with your ham and everything, and you're just going to pour that over the top. And then you're just going to spread everything out nice and even and then this takes 45 minutes to cook your first half hour and I do this with a lot of my recipes your first half hour you're gonna cook it covered in tin foil so I'm just gonna take your tin foil throw it over the top run your hand around it like so do that to the other side. That way it gives it a nice little seal. And since I have it out of its tinfoil package, so I don't have the cutter, I just use my fingers and cut it and then you're just going to run your fingers around it again, like so, and take your edges and tuck them up. Like so. And I usually just crinkle it all the way up. So, your first half hour will be covered in tin foil. So it, you know, it lets it cook without browning everything. And then your last 15 minutes, you're going to pull your tin foil off and cook it for your last 15. So that way everything can, everything can brown a little. All right. So everything's in the oven. I'll see y'all back in 45 minutes. All right. So I had to. Add it in for another 15 minutes because the egg wasn't quite cooked all the way through. What you're going to do... Alright. Pull that beautiful thing out of the oven. You're going to take a knife. And you're just going to poke into your egg bake. And as soon as your fork comes out clean just like that, that's when you know it's the egg's cooked all the way through. Alright. Now I'm gonna bring this to you guys so you guys can see it up close and personal. So let me grab my other hot pad.
Alright, look at that. Doesn't she just look beautiful? Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my plate. And I'm gonna take this beautiful thing called the spatula. One of the greatest inventions made for a kitchen. Because it helps you put food on your plate. And then also, um, at the half hour mark, I added the other cup of cheese. If you want, you can add it on right before, right before you put your tin foil on. Take our fork, the rest of that. And then I'm just gonna smash it down a little so you guys can see what the inside looks like after it's all said and done and as you can see it's piping hot steam's just rising up from it all right so i'd like to thank you all watching for watching another episode of tippy's midwest cooking show and remember that's what you get when you combine chopped up ham eggs refried beans and sliced up baked potato cooked in the oven for 45 minutes all right i want to thank y'all for watching another episode like it comment on it share it just you know i really enjoy teaching you guys how to make all these recipes and i really hope you know i keep getting more and more people interested in cooking because so far the instagram it's just been booming lately i just re-uploaded um some pictures that I cleaned up just by changing the lighting on them a little and they're already up at almost 100 views and 100 likes and everything. Alright, but like I said, that's what you get. My lovely, delicious egg bake. Alright, thank you for watching.